Hi everyone, Anori here. Time for your weighted exercises of the week and a bonus technique tip. Okay, so today, grab some dumbbells. Two. All right. First, one we're gonna do just a shoulder shrug. Okay. So yeah, you might see the big beefy men doing these in the gym. They are also gonna help you ladies out there, or just you know, it's a good shoulder exercise. So you have your weights out to the side. I usually like to sometimes have my legs together, bend my knees a little bit, tuck my pelvis in, so I'm tucking it in, nice flat back, just to keep my core really nicely engaged. Now actively roll your shoulders back and then squeeze up and down, and down. So you don't want to squeeze your shoulders when they're rolled forward, because then that's going to put a lot of tension in your neck. It's actually really not going to work anything. You need your shoulders back, okay? So you're nice and back, and you're shrugging up and down. You look from the back, my shoulders are back, up and down. Well, that's it. it's doing, it's engaging right here. Okay, those little triangular muscles right up there in your traps. Right up here, okay? So again, really simple. Down and up. These exercises are really gonna help work our shoulders, our backs, and our chests today. Good, next one. Have your feet a little bit further apart, went in your heels. You're gonna do a hammer, I call it an honor curl, so it's almost like you're doing like a Pledge of Allegiance kind of thing, or honor, and you're working up. Remember, your elbows are still in front. They're in front of my ribs. Bring it up to your chest and down. Keep that going. So really get that squeeze in. So you're squeezing your chest muscle as you bring your bicep up. So it's working your bicep. So you also feel it in your forearms, holding the weight this way. And then at the end, really Squeeze that chest. Squeeze it. Couple more. Just like that. Good. Last one. We're going to get into that C sit position. Okay, so we're on our butts like this on the side. You're here, okay, in your C sit. So you're a little rolled, tucked really nice and tight. And I'm going to show you the arms from the front. So you see the that position, your arms out to the side, and then up. So it's a C sit fly. You want light weights for this. Light. Because being in this position, you're going to really work your core, and you have no support in that back either. So your back's working as well. Really exhale as you come up. So you can keep your arms bent the whole time, or you can come up, squeeze forward. Squeeze. But don't let them come way back here. It's going to hurt your shoulders. And just here and up. Again, from the front. Good. That one's a killer. So remember, really light weights. All right, even like threes to start off, believe me. Okay, next, the final tip is our Superman. It's gonna really work that back core, okay? So you're on your tummy, okay? Arms out in front. You're gonna lift your arms and your legs off, squeezing right back here, really squeezing your glutes, but also squeezing that lower back. Ready, and you come up, and just hold, just here. Your legs might be down here for right now, but eventually you'll be able to bring it up. And really fight to get that chest off the floor. You should be able to try, reach your fingers in between, really squeeze. Biggest mistake here, head position. Don't tuck it in, don't come up. Keep it in line, it's looking straight, 
right out in front of you, right here, okay? Keep your neck nice and long. Also, keep your shoulders back. So don't scrunch up. Keep them down and back. Remember to hold and breathe. And that is your video for this week. So try and incorporate those exercises. Work those shoulders, your chest, your back, and that back core. Remember, our core wraps all the way around, tummy and back included. Have a good workout this week.